Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. Uh, actually, today we are beginning our second season of Weekly Words. Uh, we have done over 50 of these, and uh, so we're beginning a new, new year, a new time together. Thank you for watching, and I pray that you will share this with somebody, and uh, pray that it's beneficial to you in your life. Uh, its real purpose is to give you just kind of a spiritual thought for the week, uh, for you to focus on and to contemplate and just see what God uh, does in your life. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how do we handle uh, walking through difficult times in our lives? How do we walk with God in those times? You know, when we go through difficult times in our lives, maybe it's a sickness, uh, maybe it's a family difficulty. Maybe it's uh, some kind of uh, experience at work that we're going through that's really stressful and really challenging. And we can't really find a way out of what seems to be a dark time in our lives. It's very easy and the temptation often is for us to take matters in our own hands and forget to trust God. Isaiah chapter 50, there is a passage of scripture I want to read to you and then talk to you a moment about it. It says, who among you fears the Lord and obeys the word of his servant? Let him who walks in the dark, who has no light, trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. But now all of you who light fires and provide for yourselves flaming torches, go and walk in the light of your fires. And then he ends by saying, and this light that you have is going to lead you down the wrong road and into torment. You say, Ray, what is he talking about? Well, what he's talking about is, is when we go through times of darkness in our lives, we've got to trust in God. We've got to depend upon him. But instead, what they were doing is they were lighting their own fires. They were trying to light their own fire to be able to walk out of the darkness. In other words, they were getting involved in the same thing that you and I often get involved, and it's what I would call the, the self-help program instead of the God-trusting program. Instead of depending upon God, they were depending upon themselves. And often that's what we do. We depend on our own human reason our own ability to uh, navigate our way out of the situation, our own ability to negotiate our way out of the situation. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to man, but it leads to destruction. I don't know about you in your life, but in my life, I have discovered in the times when I have depended upon my own human ability and my own human reason to find the way out of dark times, I have often found myself the same way Isaiah says. I have found myself in more difficult situations and often creating more of a difficult situation. They were lighting their own fires. They were uh, seeking, maybe you would say, to light your own fire would be when we don't turn to God, instead we, uh, we turn to others. When we find the advice of others, when we seek advice from other people instead of actually trusting, praying, and walking with God. Do we look to ourselves? Do we look to others in our times of darkness? Or do we look to God and trust in Him? And Isaiah is saying to us here that if we do that, God is going to teach us and God is going to show us in the midst of this darkness. You see, it is in those difficult times that God is often working in our lives to teach us to be dependent upon Him, to trust in Him, that He is worthy. He's actually giving us more reasons to praise him and thank him because he's going to show us how he's going to guide us and walk us through that and lead us into the light one day. You can't rush that. Don't, don't get involved in the areas that God is working. Don't get involved in God's own work in your life. Trust in him and depend upon him. Uh, I love uh, the flower. I love the tulip flower. I plant tulips at my house. I've got them coming up actually right now, and they're beautiful. And when they first come up, you just want to see them open up and bloom and the beauty of them. But you can't help that process. You can't go up and try with your fingers to open up the tulip. If you do, you will destroy it. God's trying to do something in our lives. He may be trying to teach us something, show us something. Don't get your fingers involved in that and try to open up the bloom. Let God lead you. Let God show us the light 
and walk with us. Well, what Isaiah is saying is this. It's better to walk in the darkness holding the hand of God than to walk in the bright light all alone. Stay with him and trust in him. Whether there is light or darkness, hold tight to his hand because he'll always lead you in the right path. May God bless you and we'll see you next week.